Hey guys, welcome. Something a little special tonight. I would like each and every one of my painting peeps who are a healthcare worker or a doctor or an ambulance driver or anyone that's in the healthcare field to please reach out to me in the comments below because I am beyond grateful for each and every one of you and I'd like to do something special. So go ahead and send me a comment, tell me what you do, and I would be very, very grateful. Thanks, guys. Hello. Welcome to the No Bra Zone. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. I'm glad you're here with me, guys. I have been doing um, a series of uh, black canvases with coppers and golds, and I have loved the way they've turned out. I've done a ring pour with them, um, an elongated swipe and a couple of other things. I'll, I'll post some pictures of them. So I wanted to do one more for the series, which would make it number four. And um, what I'm working on today is a tw 10 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas, which is such a yummy size to work on, especially if you want a um, elongated kind of composition. Our base coat is already down. I am using Artist Loft Black, which is mixed with my pouring medium, 75% Floetrol to 25% GAC 800. I mix up my pouring medium in a big jug, stir it up real good, and then put it in my uh, cups with my paints. Couple of people asked, couple of people asked me recently if I paint on a dry canvas, which was interesting to me. I do not. My base coat is always wet. The only time I'm painting on a dry canvas is if I'm embellishing my canvas after my uh, pour is 100% dry, which usually takes about two weeks. You can probably do it sooner than that, but I play it safe, especially with a painting that I'm very, very fond of. So let's talk about our colors today. I've been into my golds and my coppers. I just love the way that they uh, they play together. This is uh, Metallics Deco Art, and this is the 24 karat gold. And I'm almost out of this baby, and that makes uh, that makes me sad. But we'll get some more ordered. This guy right here is Deco Art Metallics Copper. And then I'm going to be swiping with my Artist Loft Black. Now, don't freak out, guys. <laughs> I put one tiny little drop of silicone in here. Let me get my silicone bottle. Right there, spot on treadmill. It's the only thing I had on hand. And the reason I did that is after I do my swipe, I want to tilt it to elongate my cells because I want some big butt cells on this guy. So one drop of silicone in my swiping black and hopefully this works out. I'm not a real fan of silicone. It's by all means good for some people i don't use it because it's just so dramatic i generally get my cells by just the way the paints interact with themselves and the pouring medium that i use so i've only used silicone once this is the second time i'm going to give it a shot and i'm hoping that it works out so i'm going to go ahead and Dampen up some paper towels, which are going to be our swiping tool of choice today. Put some music on, dance around a little bit. Put some music on for y'all to dance around a little bit. And uh, 
I'm gonna get busy. Oh, 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 one more thing, one more thing. You all know I have been in search for the blackest black. And uh, last week I used the unicorn spit, the midnight black, and it was very nice. It dried beautifully, little darker than the artist loft black. And today the UPS man brought me this black 3.0. One of my paint and peeps said that I should give that a try and I was gonna use it on this pour. Now it's very thick, very glumpy, very heavy bodied. So I stuck it in my cup, added my pouring medium on top. And I don't know if it's the world's blackest black. It almost has a Payne's gray hue to it. So I put it aside. I'll try it maybe a little bit later because it's still a little glumpy. It's almost like it has to melt down into my pouring medium. So I'm going to let it rest for a little while and then we will give this a shot on our next pour. But I did give it a try and so far I put a little bit on a plate right next to some Artist Loft Black and this almost had a bluer hue to it. So I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to come back to it tomorrow. We'll give it a shot and then I'll let you know what I think about this, guys.